So we study how the brain's own version of cannabis kind of regulates uh, our feelings of anxiety when we get stressed out. So the brain makes a molecule that's very like THC from cannabis and this gets released say when we're hungry, when we get stressed out or when we're in pain, helps calm us down, makes us want to eat food, helps take pain away. So we kind of try and understand the dynamics of how these molecules are released and what it is that they do. There's a very clear link between cannabis and mental illness, and cannabis use is much higher in individuals that have mental illness. But one thing the field has been fraught with is trying to understand the kind of chicken and egg issue here. What we don't know is whether it's cannabis use that precedes the development of mental illness, or if it's individuals who are vulnerable to develop mental illness that try and manage or self-medicate their symptoms at an early phase with cannabis. I think the myth I would like to dispel about cannabis is this idea that there's gonna be a massive societal shift post-legalization. A lot of people I talk to seem to have this belief that we live in a vacuum right now and that no one smokes cannabis and once it becomes legal, suddenly everyone's gonna smoke cannabis and that's just not the truth. We know this from the statistics that StatsCan has generated, from that that a lot of researchers have generated. There's a very high use of cannabis in a recreational manner in Canada already.